which seems like, uh, you know, just there a couple weeks ago for Ted Benz. The weather didn't cooperate, but we got the races off. We did. That was great. Uh, it was hectic. We had um, probably like 300 kids on the course, but at least we got to race, and that's what's important. How are the teams looking? Actually, your guys looked really good, and the girls pretty solid as well. Yeah, our, our boys did really well. Um, I feel good about the team we got coming back. We had five good returners from last year's team. They weren't our top guys, but still our, you know, our uh, five through ten last year was all under 1650, so you can't complain about that. And they look good today. It's nice having Anthony Hurd back after last year's uh, surgery during the cross-country season. And our girls were rebuilding. We have two really good girls, but then, you know, we've had to start trying to recruit more girls on campus and get more girls to come out. And we're starting to get our numbers up and some talented girls that work hard, so we'll see what happens. Good to see Anthony back out on the course. Looks like he moved up smartly throughout the race, getting his racing legs back again. Yeah, Anthony's a real intelligent young man. He knew what he was doing. We talked about it, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks, and he, he ran exactly how he should have. Uh, there's no reason to try to, you know, lay it all out right now. It's the first meet of the season, and we've got a lot of running to do before we get to the state meet. Where do you guys go from here, Coach? We'll be at UF next week, and uh, then we got NFL runners, pre-state, and then our Metro meet. Uh, we're excited about what we've got ahead of us. Outstanding. Best of luck to your teams. Thank you.